what's your reaction to uh, pound for pound Grace Lomachenko, Usyk, the Klitschko brothers going back to defend their hometown of uh, Ukraine? Um, I mean, it's great. Um, I feel like it's very great. It's very honorable. Um, that's their hometown. They got to defend it, um, defend their family and their friends, and they take a lot of pride in that. So much respect for them. I hope um, everybody's safe in Ukraine. I hope, you know, they get past this, you know, this, this great tragedy. And I just hope that, you know, it can come, come to a resolvement where, you know, they can stop the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Last one for me, uh, real quick. Uh, what did you make of Keith Thurman's performance against Mario Barrios? And is he a relevant guy at welterweight still? I mean, he always a relevant guy because he has a name. So, I mean, I, I thought his performance was good, especially being off two years. You know, he had a very good performance. And, um... You know, you just got to stay at it, stay focused, stay hungry, and he'll get back to the top. Errol, you said you're doing your, post, uh, your press conference right now that this is the most fun you had in training camp. Why is that? Um, Just, you know, basically a different mindset. Um, you know, I, I actually been training probably, like I said, like four or five months prior to today. So so um, that's why my training camp been good because, you know, my weight, I'm not blown up in weight. And, you know, I'm not wearing a sauna suit or just, you know, trying to lose weight and just working against my body. Uh, this trainer can't work with my body. So, you know, I feel like, you know, it's getting, got, got a very happy mood right now. Two more questions, guys. Uh, Errol, so obviously Uga is not a tuna fight. Many people said, gave you the respect, obviously, on social media. You're very active that, you know, why didn't you take a tuna fight? Obviously, coming off of two, you know, tough injuries on your body. Um, I just don't believe in, in the tuna thing. I feel like, I feel like, you know, it's on me. And to fight somebody like Uga Excalibur is going to push me to the next level. It's going to keep me, you know, training hard. If I was fighting, you know, just a Joe Blow or somebody I know I was going to knock out, you know, I'd probably be a little bit heavier, probably, you know, sometimes sneaking chips and snacks because I know <laughs> that, you know, it's probably not going to be a long fight. So, to fight somebody with this caliber, I know that I got to be prepared 100%. got to push my body to pass his limit to be the guy like Ugas and knowing that he's going to come to fight and he's a world champion. He's a, you know, world talent too. So, I got to bring it all out come April 16th.